Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 16 of the section A. So it is a problem of integral calculus. Let us have a look. The area of the surface, so we are given with a surface that is intercepted by this cylinder lies in the interval. So the problem is talking about the area of the surface which is intercepted by a cylinder and firstly what we have to do in this problem we have to study a formula regarding it. So we will study that formula and then we will proceed to the solution. It is a very easy problem if you understand and know formula properly. All right. So let me write that part. All right. So let us have a look surface area of the surface given by z is equal to fxy where xy is a point from a region d in the xy plane is given by s is equal to this all right so what what is the reason d that we are given with the reason d is actually the cylinder now let us see how cylinder looks in the xy plane so see this is how your 16 of sorry 4 radius cylinder uh, radius circle will look like now if you will see this circle in a three dimensional uh, coordinate system this circle will be your cylinder now in this region you have you are given with this region d which is inside this circle all right this is your region d we have to solve this integral on this region d now let us see what is our z z is xy by 3 so what will be zx the partial differentiation of z with respect to y sorry x so you will get y by 3 what will be zy it will be x by 3 so what will be s s will be double integral under root 1 plus y square plus so you will get 1 by 3 times of 9 plus x square plus y square all right so i'm not mentioning everything now because you are in the xy plane so what do you know you know that uh, if you have this da and you are in the xy plane then i will write something for you so this is what i was talking about that da is equal to if you are inside xy plane it is equal to dy dx by n cap dot k cap all right now you are on the xy plane so what will be your normal normal will be z axis you know that x y and z axis are mutually perpendicular so what will be the normal to the xy plane the normal to the xy plane will be z axis now this circle or you can say this region which is inside the circle is on the xy plane so the so the normal for xy plane and this region will be same so z axis will be normal so what is the unit normal along z axis it is k cap so it will be dy dx k cap dot k cap so you will get dy dx finally so it is dy dx so we can write now so we have now everything that whatever we want now to solve this integration it's little difficult all right you are working on this uh, reason d and you have this so what i will use i will use polar coordinates so i will substitute x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and you know that if x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta what is dy dx you know that it is obtained from the jacobian but for the point of exam point of view you have to remember it so when you are doing polar coordinates dy dx is replaced by r dr d theta so please keep this in mind now see this is if if you will substitute x and y in this equation you will get r square is equal to 16 r is positive so you will get r is equal to 4 so equation of this circle is r is equal to 4 and r is moving from 0 to where 0 to 4 if you want this whole region d what you will do you will rotate it like this so if you will rotate it like this how much theta you are using you are using 2 pi all right so s can now be written as 
1 by 3 times of 0 to 2 pi 0 to 4 under root of 9 plus x square plus y square now what is x square plus y square it is r square so you will get r square now you have r dr d theta so multiply r on the outside and you have this double integral now it is a very simple integral how you are going to solve it you are going to solve it by just substituting n, n plus r square is equal to t so if n plus r square is equal to t 2r dr will be dt so finally r and dr will be dt so s will be 0 to 2 pi 1 by 3 is also there now you have to change the limit also so when r is 0 what is t just put it here t will be 9 when r is 4 what is t it will be 25 now you will get root of t all right this is n, n plus r square is t so root of t r dr will be the dt dt by 2 d theta this is what you will get now you know how to integrate this integration will be t to the power 3 by 2 over 2 by 3 so what you will get 1 by 3 0 to 2 pi t to the power 3 by 2 2 by 3 this is what you will get what are the limits it's from 9 to 25 d theta so now integration answer will be all right if you will place all of these limits so what you will get or uh, you will get okay let us calculate so see if you will integrate this and uh, all the limits you will put you will get this so you are getting 21.777 multiplied with pi so it is nearly equal to 22 all right not exactly equal to 20 but we can say that it is nearly equal to 22 so it belongs to a option why because see it is in between it so a is correct and all other remaining options are false so this is how you can actually solve this problem if you if you know everything what i have done you can solve and calculate in less than two minutes so that is why this problem is little easy all right so don't worry about this problem just remember this note and this thing what we have done so far so if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you